once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Epic Lee. Once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ace. Oh. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk for that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Swing and a miss by Emilianenko. These guys are throwing early. Early connection with the left from the champ. A really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. 
Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Emilio Nico. You know what's crazy? That one appeared to stun him. Nice leg kick. Finds a home for that left hook. Nice counter left there. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Great job getting that kick over. Nice body kick. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Just over three minutes to go. Nice straight punch there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy with an axe, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> hands up, hands up. And just inches away from landing one of those big white hands. And he blocked the punch there. Take down defense holds up. Milianenko <laughs> gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, head kick. Cut above the eyes. That knee, that knee hurt him. Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Just missed with that right hand. And he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lee's kick is blocked. Nice straight right, Lance. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Beautiful block there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Kickboxing 101. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Man, look at him load up on that right. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. In the books. All right, man, take a seat. He really rocked in that round. He does not want to be in this fight anymore. I need you to go out there and finish it. He doesn't want to be there. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go All right, round two. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't gonna get to this next round. Here we are, we will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovers over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back, but I would advise him to switch a lot in the oh! He's got him hurt here. Slips. 
Pedro Emelianenko goes for the takedown. He misses. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter striker. Nice takedown defense. Emelianenko's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Pedro. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.